Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I've had lots and lots of requests for people asking me to do videos on moving out of home. And um, I think this is a really interesting um, uh, video to do. It was, it was one that made me kind of reminisce on when I first moved out of home. And I remember when I decided I was going to move out of home, I wanted to make sure I did it properly so that I never had to move back at home again. And no offence, mum and dad. But um, for me, I, once I made that break and that move out of the, out of the nest, um, I didn't want to have to come home. So these are my top um, tips for planning um, to move out of home. And I think the key word here is planning because you really need to prepare for the shock of moving out of home because it's incredibly expensive. So first of all, I would recommend that you, if you're thinking of moving out of home, I'd recommend that you research the cost of living. It is... Uh, quite alarming when you realize you've got to pay for things like food and um, electricity and gas and um, toiletries and cleaning products and all those things that you know often we got you know the luxury of being paid for by our parents so I would do sit down and, and work out all the things you're gonna to have to pay for if you move out of home and you know maybe even talk to a few people that have moved out of home and ask them how they found that experience and what they find are the key expenses that they weren't prepared for then once you've got a list of all those expenses you know things like home and contents insurance um, uh, food groceries cleaning products um, you know any sort of foxtel um, phone bills all those new expenses that you're going to be incur so once you've worked out how expensive it's going to be moving out of home, um, I recommend you do a budget and you make sure you plug in all those new upcoming costs into your budget and make sure you can actually aff therefore aff work out if you can afford to actually move out of home and, and keep your head above water financially with all these new expenses in, in your life. Um, by having a budget and, and knowing in advance what all those expenses are, are um, you'll be able to work out one, whether you can afford to move out of home in the first place, but two, you might be able to sort of look, sit back and go, well, hang on, um, I'm going to have to have some certain restrictions on myself as to how much money I can spend on other things that I normally would because I've got these new expenses over here. For example, you might discover that, you know, the cost of groceries is going to be quite high, therefore you can't maybe do as much clothes shopping as you would normally do when you're living at home, which is often the case. So having a budget with the new pr new expenses in there is really important. And make sure you review that budget on a regular basis, even when you've moved out, so that you are completely on top of your cash flow and you know exactly where all your money goes. And also it enables you to work out whether you can still continue on saving. Now, that brings me to the subject of saving. You should, before you move out of home, I do recommend having a sufficient amount of money in savings in your life account, which I call it, or you know, it might be your emergency account, so that if something happens, you've actually got some cash to rely on to help keep you out of trouble or get you out of trouble, so that you're not relying on a credit card um, or having to borrow money for a friend. And if at all possible, try not to move out of home with debt. Try and make sure that if you can, and obviously not everyone is in that position, if you can, try and pay down as much debt as possible or can ideally have no debt at all before you move out of home because naturally and obviously it's much harder to pay down debt when you've got an increase in your living expenses. Now, my final tip is um, to practice um, before you move out. So I would, once you've got your, your budget um, with your new upcoming expenses in there, and you know what your rent's going to be approximately, start pretending as though you've got those expenses. So say, for example, you know that you're, you're the, the rent you're going to be paying is around, say, $250 per week, and you know that your living expenses are going to be increasing by $100 per week. What you should do is get into the practice of having an extra $300 per week come out of your savings account into just, for example, your, your life account or you know somewhere else so that you can actually see whether you can actually cope um, emotionally and financially with those new um, co the new cost of living before you move out of home and if you decide actually I can't afford 300 or 350 dollars per week um, in my current budget you'll know that you either need to try and delay moving out of out of home for a little bit or you need to review your budget and cut those living expenses so the key principle behind this video is to really make sure that you plan and prepare before moving out of home so that you know you're not going to sort of put yourself in any sort of financial jeopardy in moving out of home and when you do move out of home you know it's a very liberating um, and exciting and powerful, um, empowering experience 
um, you know, a, a new chapter in your life. So I, I hope this video helps. Um, you can always, I love hearing your requests. You've given me some fantastic ideas um, for new videos, which I'll be doing soon. Um, one of which is going to be how to save for your wedding. And um, you can follow me on Instagram for daily um, motivation and inspiration. Um, and it's, it's at sugarmama.tv. You can also like us on Facebook. And um, if you're, if you ever have any special requests, um, please make sure you, you send us an email um, detailing what you'd like to hear from us. So ciao for now and I'll see you in my next video so soon. Okay, bye.